guys, welcome back to the channel. Having some tea? Real quick. Green tea peppermint. <laughs> green tea peppermint. So peppermint green tea, uh, you guys should definitely give this a try. I'm sipping on it right now. It's very good. Very good. Boldness. Boldness. Guys, I mean, how many times in life have there been times where we've needed to become bold or have courage in our lives to stick up for ourselves, to go for the things that we want in life, regardless of the consequences or the uncertainty that we're dealing with? boldness. You know, there's there's so much that can be done when we just take that initial step forward, when we just put our when we just take that first step. Really, you know, it's it's really thinking about and doing the things that will be necessary for us to be on this on this path. I mean, from from waking up every day, going to our normal our normal everyday jobs, dealing with the stresses of the day, dealing with our our own worries of the day, you know, living in the place that we live in or the town that we live in, or even just getting tired of the burdensome reality of going to the same job every day, dealing with the same worries every day, living the same shit town every day, you know? It's like, there's so much that goes into waking up and doing those things and going through your day-to-day -day activities, the motions, the routines. So, boldness. Boldness. I, I just really think that it comes down to I really think that it just comes down to a couple factors of you learning to stick up for yourself. Now there's a percentage of people that know how to do this and they don't let people walk all over them. And then there's people that are dealing with an insurmountable amount of fear where they have anxiety when talking and having these conflicting conversations or ideas with people. And so then they don't have the courage. They deal with fear. You know, and this was my this was me, for example, uh, in the past, where I was just afraid to to speak up, to to talk, and to <laughs> stick up for myself, stand up for yourself. You know, stand up. Stand up for yourself. Otherwise, you will turn into a victim of life. Courage takes practice. It's funny how boldness and courage are actually the same, same word. And in that, you gain strength. Strength comes with time. But the other aspect of boldness is learning from people, mentors, authors, reading the books, listening to the audiobooks about success, right? Because like for me and myself, like I just, I don't just want to just to live, you know, I, I want to live on a path and be on a path towards success. I want to accomplish something in this life. I want to I want to try and bring value in some way, shape or form. You know, and I may just be speaking off the top of my head, but these were just kind of my thoughts and I thought I would share them with you guys. But I feel like that other aspect of boldness, taking that first step, picking up that book, talking to that girl, taking that opportunity across the country or quitting my job 
or changing my environment. So again, it could also be in, involved with moving. You know, there, those things take boldness. Those things take courage to do. And I just see myself, I want those things. <laughs> Wanting those things. But we also want to make sure that we're conscious that we're on that path, right? But I'm just going to leave it at this, guys. Boldness can just be taking the first step on the path that you want to be on, that you want to create for yourself, even. Courage takes practice. And strength comes with time. I hope you guys have a good night. Please subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.